Hey everybody, it's April 10th and you are here, it is April 10th, yes. You are here at the DEI Working Group for Chaos. Great to see everybody here. We have a small but mighty group, I know. Um, yeah, minutes are in the chat. We are happy. Hey, Enoch, we'll drop these in here for you. Sure thing. Oh, and there's Sean. There we go. Um, yeah, let me share. Maybe I'll share the right screen today, unlike yesterday. I had to accept record before I could activate my voice and video. Oh. So what happens if you join after recording starts? Never happened to me before. <laughs> You're usually the recorder, not the recordee. Okay. Um, if you, if anybody does need the minutes again, just drop drop a note in chat. We can drop them in here for you. No worries at all. I'm always curious of how people plan their vacations because I feel like vacations are something different than like regular life. So, you know, some people are exactly how they usually are. Some people are completely the opposite and they take that time to just do the other way that they're usually not. So, um, very curious. Yeah, I need to know how I'm getting there and I need to know that I've got a place to sleep. And that was all I used to do. But now so many things require tickets in advance and I've gotten burned so many times. We went to Florence and we couldn't get in any of the museums because they were all booked out like a week in advance and so you have to so now like if there's anything i really want to see that requires a ticket i i do do that i didn't used to as long as i had a place to sleep i was good and i figured the rest out well right because you could just in theory just show up at the museum like a museum right <laughs> yeah. go look at things yeah. <laughs> that's yeah. not true it's not true anymore mm. in some places I feel like Don, you and I also plan restaurants, at least to know kind of what's around. Maybe not like we're going to this restaurant on this day at this time, but like just to kind of know at least what the options are. So yeah, I mean, I, I know I've told some of you this before, but the very first time uh, Paul, my partner and I traveled together, um, I, I, he looked at me and he says, you get kind of scary when you're hungry. Um, and ever after that, he would create a shared Google map with uh, vegan restaurants because the problem is I get hungry and I get hangry and I can't just go in any place and eat. I, you know, I, I need to go in certain places that have food for me. Um, and so now, yeah, he creates a little map and we don't, we don't plan out like which ones are going to necessarily when, unless it's something special that we need a reservation for. But yeah, we've got it. We've got a map of, of like food. what's a, what's available. What's yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so if he sees it coming, you can be like, there's one two blocks away. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Go, let's go. <laughs> In fact, you stay here. I'll go get them. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it that you just kind of know that. And that's like <laughs> incredibly self-aware. I love it. It's amazing. All right. So let's hop into this. Just another reminder, no meetings next week. So this meeting will not happen next week. So don't show up or show up and talk to yourself because nobody will be here. So do not come. Uh, so do not come next week. Smiley face. Okay. If you have questions about that, drop them in chat. I think we've, I, I feel like we've said this a lot, but I know there will probably still be people <laughs> that didn't get the memo and didn't get the message. So um, yeah, if you if you wanna show up and like point those people in the right direction, meaning off of Zoom, that would be great, but don't feel like you have to, anybody who's planning to be here or what, or can be here, I guess. Okay, and I think that this one is Dawn's, so I will let you speak to that, Dawn, if that's okay. Yeah, sure. So there was a pretty lengthy uh, issue discussion about renaming Bus Factor um, because it's uh, it's a bit uh, morbid. Uh, people don't like it. It's a little triggering. So we had this really long discussion, and there were lots of ideas, and there was... Um, it was a little hard to corral it. So I created a poll just to gauge interest. So the poll winner is not necessarily what we're going to rename it to, um, just in case it gets like gamed or something, but it is is giving us an opportunity to see how people feel about the different names. So I would encourage you to click on the poll link and vote so you can, um, Pick your favorite one and uh, yeah, and help us rename the bus factor metric. That's it. Any questions about that? 
So just the morbidity that Don refers to is basically the bus factor. Is it the if one of the key people gets hit by a bus in your project, yeah. what happens to the project? Yeah. So I prefer, yeah, the way I've always uh, positioned it because I don't, I don't like the the bus factor. It's a little too, a bit too macabre, but. Um, so I always say like the lottery factor, if somebody wins the lottery, cause that's like the positive spin on it and disappears uh, and retires on a beach forever and never comes back to the project, what happens? I feel like it's a little nicer than got hit by a bus. <laughs> but there's lots of, there's other options in the poll. So that's, um, pick your favorite. And you're taking votes until May 4th, I see, right? Yes, um, that extended long time period is because I opened the poll after a lot of the groups had met for the last time before our little break for OSSNA. So I wanted to give all of the working groups an opportunity to meet before in case they wanted to have a discussion about it. Awesome. That gives people a nice long, nice long time to vote, no rush, think about it. And if you have any comments, you can continue to contribute to the discussion on the issue. So that's that's not closed out in any way. People are still commenting on the issue as well. Awesome. Yeah, I haven't looked at the results, so I don't want to bias anybody's opinion, but I will be curious to see how it ends. You can they can just click that link right there and they'll see the results unless they voted. I think you have to vote to see the result. Oh, you, oh, you can just show the results. Should I or no? I don't want to bias anybody. I don't want, you know. I already voted. Maybe I'll do it. <laughs> everybody, everybody go vote right now. <laughs> no, just kidding. You've got until May 4th. Spend some time to think about it. No pressure. Great. Thank you, Don. Thanks for leading that. I, I think it's really important because I think that a lot of people look to chaos for some guidance on some things. And I feel like we need to be as inclusive as we can be. And so if we can kind of lead that charge, I think people will follow. And I think that is awesome. Hopefully people will follow. <laughs> people will be like, ah, yeah, anyway. All right, any other final questions, comments, anything for Don? Okay, let's move on. I wanted to give a quick event badging update. Um, we, uh, as you all know, probably no, we have been trying to add three metrics to our <laughs> to our application for a very long time. I started it last year. I did a PR and I got to a point and it, it kind of broke and then a bunch of stuff happened and it kind of took a back seat. So Eddie Inca and I are trying to get this implemented once, implemented once and for all. So I opened an issue this morning and basically dumped everything I know about the process and where things are as far as my understanding goes. So um, I'm hoping that if anybody wants to work on this and help us get this across the finish line, we really, really need to do it. Um, I would really like to see it happen, I should say. We don't need to do it, but I would really like to see it happen because we have these three metrics that are important and um, ready to go and we just need to get them in there so um, yeah if anybody wants to help work on this um, reach out to Arinka and she can point you in the right direction um, she's helping sort all this out of what still needs to be done and how we're gonna how we're gonna do it Lamy that's a great question what kind of help is needed I'm not entirely sure I think um, I'm not sure actually my uh, capacity and understanding of the badging bot is limited <laughs> so i think it's so i think okay so last year i did this um maybe it'll there we go so i added them last year and so they are here and accessibility public health and safety and lo event location inclusivity um i think there's a breakdown when it create it can create the markdown um and i think it can I think it does that properly for the badging bot to recognize, but I think there's a breakdown when the badging bot tries to create the checklists. But so there would need some badging bot work, I think, to be able to incorporate those in the checklist. I think, but again, I could be wrong. This is my memory from last year. I don't I don't remember, honestly. So probably just testing 
and seeing what, what's broken exactly where would be helpful. Um, and then this link here is in the, I'm hearing some background noise. I'm not sure who that's from, but if they just muted, it's fine. Okay, awesome. Uh, yeah, so where was that here? It's uh, diversity and inclusion badging two, which I can also drop in the minutes here. Yeah, Cause that looks like you did the web page. Yeah. On your issue. Right now. Oops, where'd my issue go? I lost my issue. Your issue points to the existing site. It does. Yes, it does. That's where the, that's where the changes will need to go. Okay. Um, this was just a test. The badging two is just my proof of yeah, concept yeah. test. So um, that's what we could use for testing, but eventually somebody's gonna need to put it in the actual gotcha. WordPress, which I mean, I could probably do, but if somebody else wants to do that too, like we can make that happen. Okay, so it seems like at badging two, you've done everything. Is that, I mean, like at least from a website perspective. I, I think, I think. Okay. Um, I would need to test again because and make sure that like what also I want to um, some eyes on it to make sure that what we're yeah. looking at is what the end like how these ended up being if that matches a look at I can take a look at the website okay see if that seems to line up and if it doesn't I'll just respond in this issue here okay because I don't have access to that site yeah, I'm really curious about what's happening um, with all these because it um, looks like there are two issues that need to be solved. I just don't know whether um, um, and looks like I may have uh, probably half the solution or a solution to what is happening here. Um, uh, Elizabeth, do you mind um, probably getting on um, another call when you're free so that um, we could extensively look at this because I'm so confused while you're trying to explain what the issue is. Yes, we can. And actually we'll both be in Seattle next week, right? I think. Yeah, we shall, but I'm like thinking this is, um, this is something we could sort before then, but just in case you do not have the time, we could also meet then. Okay. I'll look yeah. at my calendar. I might have some time on Friday. Um, to chat yeah. with because sure, um, because um, because you're trying to explain what the problem is like like Lamy asked us so what kind of help is needed and I can't really try to wrap my head around that but I have a feeling I have a solution or an idea about what's happening. I mean, people to test it um to to actually like take this functional test here mm -hmm. and do it and then see what breaks. I think because I also this was a. Uh, for the badging bot a year ago, and the badging bot is different now than it was. So, um, okay, just to make sure, when someone um, makes this application, everything is reflected in the markdown plus the new metrics. Correct. Um, yeah. That's what I think. Okay, that's your thought. I thought yeah. it's something you tested. Yeah, okay. so it will okay. still do the old process of creating the mark markdown that the event application person mm -hmm. has to copy and paste into GitHub. So people mm -hmm. to take that markdown that's generated and actually open some test issues and see what the badging bot does and how it reacts and where it breaks, I think is really uh, cool. okay. That makes sense. Well, makes sense. And maybe it works, I don't know. <laughs> that would be amazing if it just magically all works now. I mean, we would be um... done. <laughs> I don't. I don't think that's the case, but, but you never know. It won't um, work. <laughs> maybe we're more awesome than we think. I don't know. Uh, okay, that's an, that's an assumption, but um, <laughs> higher chances it won't work. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm guessing that's probably what, what's going to happen. Um, I would like to include Arinka in that too. Okay, She's sure. been helping me sort some stuff out too. So we'll, I'll, I'll message the two of you. We can figure something out. Okay. Um, actually, let me just do an action item for myself. Yeah, it would be helpful. Okay. And in the meantime, if ever anybody does want to test that, um, yeah, feel free to do that and let us know. You can put in the issue what you saw, where you, you know, if you saw something that broke. Um, yeah. Okay, thank you, everybody. I appreciate you. So I put that um, 
we just shifted the table that's um, in the readme to budget events just to reduce the amount of readme um, events that are there. So it was just an update. Amazing. So this uh, is of course, fun. of course, it has some few things that are not so good, but it's functional. <laughs> it's working. Yay. Okay. So I just, del so if I make a change to, uh, here's a question for you. So let me find the, hold on. Oops. There we go. So today I realized as I was counting the number of badges that we had a couple of test ones in here still. So I took them out. Um, if I make a change here, is that reflected? It's probably not reflected in, in the other one. Oh, it? no, it's not. Okay, what okay. Um, uh, my scraping tool literally got every issue, even if it was a test issue. So that means we may need to clean up some issues in the database that are not actually real applications. Yeah. So it won't reflect because it's not um it's not linked. So what when 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 you close the issue, it uh, yeah, yeah, I see. That was a test issue. Awesome comp. I would uh, I still <laughs> wanna go. I still wanna go to awesome comp. Yeah, me too. Me <laughs> I need too. to remove that. <laughs> I didn't realize that. Yeah, I just realized it today actually that there were those two from the trainings. Oh, okay. Okay. That's how they got there. And so if, it, if there's an issue that isn't like we also had an issue where there were some broken links, um, which we fixed. <clears throat> um, so like this would not be like mm -hmm. it wouldn't try to pull that, would it? No. So okay. um, if, if, if the issue is not having an um, in-person event or virtual event, it will okay. be recognized. That's why you see awesome conf is there, but broken links is not there because um, we're still following the other implementation. It's just that now the issue is not saved on the readme, it's saved in the database that okay. is having, um the project budging um, data too. Awesome. Yeah. yeah, this is so lovely. I love it. Um, so, and just to solve that, solve for that now, I will, put in when I do an issue that's a test, I will just say mm -hmm. test event. Yeah, so, um, you'll need okay. to do that because it will definitely reflect in the database. Okay, let me just make a note here. Okay. Okay, thank you. That's so awesome. Will we, will we remove the the readme table um i'm not sure if you guys want to keep it there no problem but if you want to remove it it's also good because i made sure all the events were ported to the database okay. right on the first version to version three i mean it sounds like they're kept in sync through the process mm, so i think this is the last event you will see on this table unless you really want to keep these tables in sync i, I could i could put that back again but i just um thought this table would get longer in the long run and hard to navigate so i just cut it from here and i was like okay this should be the last event here i see but if you want to keep them in sync that's still perfectly okay we could just link to link to it. Yeah, that's what I thought. Just link to say for all badge instead of mm -hmm. something like. Um. So on the readme, you would just say you get oh. rid of the table and you just say for all badge events. I so see. I see. I see. I see what you're saying. Yeah, that'd be easiest. I think. Sure. Something I hadn't thought of. And also, um, one other thing, maybe I should have been an issue for this request. Enoch, is there a way, I feel like there would be a way to put somewhere, like we have badged X number of events somewhere where it would just. Uh, something that's um, that's like. Uh, we just count the number. Okay. Yeah, that, that looks like something we could implement or. Yeah. <laughs> There is I, a way. I, I I should say there is a way. 
I mean, is that if that is that something that we think would be helpful on this page? Lami should tell me where to put that. <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking the homepage as like yes. If, if Lami if Lami knows where that should go, I definitely would love to put it there. <laughs> Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Oh, okay. I said there may be the homepage. The home so page is, for yeah. there. This home page looks boring. <clears throat> Somewhere there. Yeah. Uh, I'm still seeing the event budget page. Somewhere there. Yes. So somewhere around here. Maybe below um the description. I can design it then no, just explore see how it looks like. ideas. Yeah. Yeah, sure. Um, Actually, I, I like once, that idea. Yeah. There's a lot of room and it could just simply say like 167 badged events and four badged projects or something like that. We're getting there. But yeah. <laughs> well, you should know um, some of the things on the table may not be working the way you expect them, but they are really non-blocking. I just made sure I made, I make it functional and we could look at the rest of the polishing um, by and by. Yeah. So do you want to open an issue or, or um, in, um, indicate to me at some point when we're ready to put that link, like remove the table and put the link in that read me to like. So I think um, what we could do right now is uh, so for, when you go back to the table. Um, so the problem I have with the people that design the front end at first is there is no direct link to the budge events table. You need to first navigate to event budging and then you click on that button. So there is no direct link that brings you to this table. So um, I think what we'll do is um, we'll have to get a route in the front end that's directly leading to this table so that we could um, put it in the readme file. So yeah, there is... There is a need to create a, um, an issue for that. Let me do that while we're still on this call. Okay. Yeah. Which is something that um, I wish someone could grab because it's like beginner friendly. Okay, great. Thank you. Um, anything else on kind of what's going on here? With our event table, badging, badged event table. Oh, I think it looks good. Thank you. Yeah, thank you. Ina, who worked on that? Do you know? So, um, oh, what's her name? Um, Midday worked on the design, and um, then I had to make sure it's functional by creating the back end for that, um, scraping all the events and then linking it to the design she had made and just making a few tweaks. But she really worked on the design, everything. I just made sure it's functional. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. And thank you, Enoch, too. I didn't, I didn't mean to just gloss over your contribution there. I mean, I mean, I mean it's, it's, if it wasn't midday, even if I had the routes, it, it, would, not, it would not be visible. So <laughs> <laughs> thanks to her. <laughs> OK, um, I did want to just mention we are starting to see other organizations submitting their events. Um, so great. yeah, it is really great. ASF submitted their first one. I, um, fairly certain we will get more. I don't think they have the volume that the Linux Foundation has, but um, it was really great to see some, just some diversity in who's applying. Mm -hmm. um, there was also someone else who uh, is going to recommend our badging program to their community, but I don't know what community they are from. So, <laughs> so we'll just wait and see what happens with that. I don't know. And, um, and then finally, I just wanted to mention that it's almost three years to the day. Uh, since we issued our very first badge. So yay to everybody who has worked on Amazing. on this program. It's still going strong and getting better every day. 
167. How did you find that number? I counted with my oh. eyeballs. Yeah. That was awesome. I did <laughs> so there could be some human error in that. We'll see if it matches what you have. <laughs> Elizabeth, you don't have a database where you could curate the the number of people that you have issued badges to keep it for historical uh, records? It just got active a week ago, like the one we've been trying to present at the previous point. But I think the database can now do that. Yeah. Okay. That's because all. It's, re it's really good. It's really good to have a a long lasting yeah. uh, <laughs> source of yeah. Yeah. Sure. Do you think also that that kind of brings us up? Uh, so when we do add these new three metrics, we will bump up to. So right now these are like some of our stuff is version three, mm -hmm. our stuff is version two. Should mm -hmm. we put that in the database as well? Um, versioning? Yeah. Like who got what badge, what version they got when they got their badge. Okay, so um, what you mean is um, we can have a filter for version three, version two, version one, or we could... Um, I don't know how you, or we could have different tables for different versions. Or maybe a column that just says what version. Oh, you know what I'm okay. What does everybody think? Um, um, what's the difference between version two and three? Is it the metrics? Yeah. Okay. I'm fairly certain it's the metrics and let's look. Yeah, so we used to split these two up into separate ones. We combined them. And we added family friendliness. So yeah, the metrics are different. Um, yeah. Okay, that would That's need the tweaking the scraping mm -hmm. implementation I'd made just to follow what's on the table. Um, yeah. I don't know how long that will take, but I know it's doable, but I just don't know how long that will take. I just asked because when we bump it up to four, we're adding, mm -hmm. we're adding the three new metrics. So it is gonna be harder for people to get a gold badge. I think, because there's going to be a lot more for them to attend to. So I just want to make sure we're keeping track of that somewhere. Okay, I think putting the version column is um, an easier thing to do. The only hard thing about it is um, putting the um, um, getting those those events in the right categories. Elizabeth. Yeah. If I understand well, let's say in version two, someone has the goal batch. Will the requirement of having the goal batch in version three be quite dif different to tedious? Uh, it's not. Oh, so I'm not sure I understand your question. I'm strong. Rephrase that for me. Okay, let's say what would be the requirement of having a goal batch in version two? A requirement to having a gold bat in version three and version four is it the same requirement no the the main difference is going to be the way the metrics are positioned so um in version two we we thought about metrics a little bit differently than we did in version three so we added a metric okay. and combined some and then for version four we're going to keep the one the five that we have and then add three more so there'll be actually eight metrics in version four Okay, so but that would mostly be like from the because we need to look at it from the insider's perspe perspectives and from the outsider's perspective. Insider is like the kiosk people, the reviewers, the community. The outsider, if I want to display, let's say I'm an outsider project, I want to display my gold medal and I'm showing version two or version three, and someone who did more requirement having the same badge, does that look like a uh, I'm just concerned about fairness on this point okay. from the point of view. I see what you're saying. So should we should say on here a version number? Mm. That's something we should really discuss because it might uh, it, we can be solving one good problem mm -hmm. and raising another concern. I will say that. I mean, so I mean, it's not something to concern about from external view. So we could keep the version as an internal thing. And we just show the badge. This project has this gold badge. Then the qualifying factor, we should, I mean, things evolve, right? We should deal with that. So we should keep the version like more in a close, eternal thing. Yeah. 
Um, so I think Matt put in here, we do track that internally, but to your point, um, I don't know. I mean, we could talk about how they would reflect that externally. Um, I will say because the events are like, they have to reapply. So yes, it's getting harder, but also it's not the same event year to year, even if I'm making sense, mm -hmm. they still yeah, have, yeah. yeah, yeah. So, yeah. but to your point, like for historical purposes, I think, um, yeah, that's a super interesting point to bring up is that, yeah, they're going to get a gold, but not only are they getting gold, they're getting gold with version four, which is a little harder than it was. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Let's put this in here. Something to think about if we want to. Yeah, yeah, that's interesting. Lemmy says we could add a description under each version of what metrics were are considered for external folks to understand the difference better. Yeah, that's a good idea. Maybe even um, under here, like another thing of like chaos versions or change change log or whatever we want to say it. I don't know uh, revisions, something like that. We could put them all in one place so people could see the evolution of the badge. Yeah. Lemmy, what do you think about that from a visual standpoint? Yeah, I think that that's something that can be done and would um, explain better. Okay. Does somebody want to go? Oh, go ahead. No, no, I'm just like, it's interesting how the website is getting bigger and bigger. <laughs> oh, yeah. We just Before start. Before you know it, I, I, I remember last week I was lost in the code I had written myself. <laughs> <laughs> and it's funny because we had, like, we were so conscious of not having a lot of material on there. <laughs> you know, like, the, the first page is very simple by design. Yeah. yeah. And but which is, which is Matt's goal. <laughs> I think there's also going to be one here about be a badger. I think that's coming soon. Yeah. So another one, but I think it's all helpful information. I think it's um, <laughs> certainly displayed beautifully and helpfully, and not too crowded. I think I like this the way this works. You know, so. next year around this time, there'll just be too much in the code base that yeah, any right. single issue would, would take time to solve. <laughs> See, that's when you just hand it off to someone, you know. Like, <laughs> no, I, I mean, like when when someone is like, "Well, I could work on that issue," and then you're like, "How did the code reach here?" <laughs> yeah, right. All the technical debt we've got. I love it. <laughs> um, does somebody want to open an issue? Open an issue to add a uh, option. Version. I think I think the issue will need a discussion because. Um, how do we represent that in the badge? How do we represent that on the table? How do we represent that on the website? Or what's the best way to represent that given those three options? And is it, um, um, uh, how do we represent that both to the public and to ourselves? Of course, now for us, we already know what the versions are, but I think the concern was about the people that were issuing the badges too, and also the public. Mm -hmm. So that they're not confused that, oh, this is a gold badge, but actually it's a version one. So there is something it didn't meet, but someone is not aware about that because all the badges look the same given the versions. Mm -hmm. So it will be a good um, discussion to know um, where do we want to put the separation? Is it on the badge? Is it on the website? Or is it, um, I don't know. Yeah. Or is it on the design? And I also think another thing to consider is, are we separating the history of events badging from project badging? Because project badging yep. just started. So we need to make the distinction or add them both together. Yeah, agreed. That would have to go under here. But to be fair, like, I don't know, maybe we are going to have other levels for project badging as well. So yeah 
and um, people will have versions for their file i think right if we decide to change anything they would yeah yeah i'm sure it's a really good point lami so whatever we decide for for events would probably cascade into projects like whatever framework we set up mm -hmm. projects have versioning too mm -hmm. interesting thanks and to whoever brought that up um, yeah oh. these also have like expirations so they it will be important i think to show what version they are on currently yeah, the other table looks better than this something needs to be done <laughs> as much stuff here that's what it is like issue there's no something needs to be done <laughs> yeah. okay good 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 questions uh do we have any action items here right now this moment or is this something that the kind of team leads for design and for badging and the devs want to take like what, do, what do, do we need to do anything here, I guess, is my question. I think the action item right now is um, creating the issue so that it doesn't, uh, it stays tracked just in case. I'm not sure of any other action item. For now, um, the only action item is looking for where to describe what version on the website, which is important. Okay. Yeah, which probably the design um, team would take up. Uh, is there anybody on this call that is uh, willing to bring this over to the design team to talk about it? I mean, yes, it's not I'll Lamy. Who else? <laughs> <laughs> I, mean, I don't want to. I don't want to like say Lamy. Guess what you're doing? <laughs> now you're doing this. <laughs> well and told, I think they call that. <laughs> so those are two things she has to figure out where the numbers are going and where the yeah. version yeah. stuff is going. Yeah, and for the versions, the explanation of the versions, are we, I, I got the impression that I wanted to come up with content first before talking about design. Is that something we should do? Um, I think like Elizabeth said, it's all about just mentioning um, what kind of um, metrics were used. Is, that, is there something else that? I, I think that's all that it is. Um... Uh, so it does look like we did add some updates to the process last time, but I, I think that was that's internal, like that's a process thing so that we don't need to really worry about that. I think that um, the main thing is what match what metrics went with what version, and I don't know that that's actually written out somewhere. Um, we can certainly figure it out by going back to these and seeing their applications like versus like here's version one. And hey, but those budgets are not showing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So these look like the same as version two. I tell you what, let me let me take do a little digging because yeah. I don't actually know. So I will dig and see what, what the actual differences are. Um, give me that action item. Okay. due in two weeks <laughs> yes definitely not gonna happen next week <laughs> i will i will do that digging figure that out um okay so we did this we did this uh we only have six minutes i don't know if we want to work on this code of conduct enforcement metric at all in those six minutes probably not enough time okay yeah. Um, do you want to talk about this? Well, that's just the FYI for folks. We are actually talking about the project badging work <clears throat> at a panel. So there you go. So if you are going to be at OSSNA, you can come in these 20 minutes and hang out with us. It's so quick, you know, 20 minutes. I know, right? <laughs> I'll talk fast. It'll be all right. 
I want to see how you pull that off with as many people in 20 minutes. That's fun. <laughs> I don't know if everybody will be there. So I'm not sure if everybody on the panel can make it. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. But you should all, if you're going to be there, you should add that to your, what is this? How do you say this? Skedge? Skedge. Skedge. Skid. It, it depends. It depends where you are because um, uh, people here in the UK, because they say schedule instead of schedule, call it shed. 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 But everybody in America tends to call it sked. Skedge, which is what I've always called it, was skedge. See, naming matters, right? Yeah. Really and I'm not certain. It almost sounds like I put a G on the end, and I don't know why. Skedge. No, I do too, because it's sketch schedule. Like yeah. So yeah, I do too. Sked. Because sked sounds weird. Like it does. And so I would say sketch. <laughs> schedule. No. Naming. Yeah. It's rough. Uh what else do we have to talk about? We have four minutes. The floor is yours. Community. I'll stop sharing. Good. That was a nice talk about badging. Oh, yeah. Thank you, everybody. Appreciate you very much. Okay. Um, Go ahead, Enoch. Sorry. No, I was, I was in agreement with everything. Sounds good. All right. Well, again, no meeting next week. Come back in two weeks and we will all see each other then. Have a great rest of your Wednesday. It is Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday. It is Wednesday. We'll see y'all later. <laughs> Have a good rest of your week. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Bye. Bye.